in a representation submitted to a company under section 140 subsection 4 of the company act 2013 the auditors of the company included the contribution made by the firm in strengthening the control procedures of the company during their association with company is it misconduct this is a case study the answer is in paragraph 2.14.1.6 subclass 4 capital m under clause 6 of part 1 of the first schedule to the act appearing in volume 2 of code of ethics provides for scope of such representation which an auditor is entitled to make under section 225 sub section 3 of the company act 1956 or section 140 subsection 4 of the company act 2013 section 140 subsection 4 of the company act 2013 permits a retiring auditor to make a representation in writing not exceeding a reasonable length to the company the proposition of the partner to highlight contributions made by the firm in strengthening the control procedures in the representation should not be included in such representation because the representation letter should not be prepared in a manner so as to seek publicity. The code of ethics issued by institute makes it clear that the right to make representation does not mean that an auditor has any perspective right or a lien on audit. The wording of his representation should be such that apart from the opportunity not being abused to secure needless publicity, it does not tantamount directly or indirectly to canvassing or soliciting for his continuance as an auditor. The letter should merely set out in a dignified manner how he has been acting independently and consciously through the term of office and may in addition indicate if so choose his willingness to continue as auditor if reappointed by the shareholders. Thus such action proposed by a firm could not be approved since it may look to his being held guilty of professional misconduct under clause 6 of part 1 of the first schedule to the act.